Hey guys, in today's video, I'm gonna show you how you can use your iPhone as a webcam for your Mac. This will allow you to use your iPhone as a high quality webcam for your video calls and recordings. Okay, so to get started, first we're gonna to need to go and turn on continuity camera in your iPhone's settings. On your iPhone, go to settings, general, airplay and continuity, and then make sure that continuity camera is turned on. So what actually is continuity camera? It's an Apple feature designed to make your devices work seamlessly together. With this feature, you can turn your iPhone into a high quality webcam or even a microphone for your Mac. This opens up new possibilities for enhancing your video calls and recordings. So before we move on, let's quickly cover the device requirements to make sure we get everything working smoothly. Your iPhone must be an iPhone XR or newer running iOS 16 or newer. Your Mac needs to be running macOS Ventura or newer. Both devices will need to be signed in on the same Apple ID and have Wi-Fi and Bluetooth turned on and be within about 10 meters or 30 feet of each other. So if both your devices are compatible, the next step will be is to mount your iPhone on a tripod or some type of mount and have the rear camera facing you. So I use this little tripod. This is just some old little tripod I had lying around and I've actually attached a MagSafe tripod head to it. So this is just some random little cheap tripod. So you can really use anything or you could use the clamp style phone mount on your tripod if you have one of them. So then my phone just attaches straight to this MagSafe mount and then I can just sit this next to my MacBook or behind it. You can also get mounts that sit above your monitor so if you are using a Mac and not a laptop, you can actually sit it up on your monitor. Um, I'll leave them linked in the description below a few options, whether you want to mount it to your monitor or just have a little tripod like this. You know, you could probably just find things lying around the house to use. But if you are doing video calls regular, I'll probably recommend getting a little mount that you can clip your phone up on so it's directly in front of you on your monitor. Now that we've got everything ready and set up to go, I just wanted to take a quick moment to tell you about today's video sponsor, Soundpeats, and their Capsule 3 Pro Plus wireless earbuds. These are awesome at blocking background noises thanks to AI adaptive noise cancelling. It cuts up to 45 decibels so you can stay focused no matter if you're working, commuting or at the gym. They're super comfortable too. I can wear these for long periods of time without any issues and they come with different ear tips so you can get the perfect fit. The sound quality, honestly, it's really impressive. Music, podcasts, or videos sound crystal clear and immersive. The battery life is great. You get up to six and a half hours on a single charge, and with the case, you get a total of 43 hours. And the best part is they're super affordable. If you wanna check them out, I've left a link in the description below, and thank you to Soundpeats for sponsoring this video. Okay, so I've turned on continuity camera in my settings and then you can literally just lock your phone and mount it onto your tripod. And then once you've mounted it to your tripod, you wanna go and open up your video camera app. For this test, we're just gonna use Photo Booth, but if you use Zoom, open up Zoom or whatever you need. So I'm just gonna come down and open up Photo Booth. So you can see it actually instantly connected to my iPhone because continuity camera's on and it's set up nice and close to my computer. But if it didn't automatically do that for you, all you have to do is go up into your app settings up the top of the screen here and go camera. If you have another webcam or you're using a MacBook with a built-in webcam, um, it'll be on this one here. So you can see now I've got the little green light and it's using my MacBook's camera. So you just come up into the camera settings on whatever app you're using. It's usually located up in the menu bar here and then you just pick your iPhone. So I select Sam's iPhone, and then you can see it swaps over there straight away. And you can see how clear that camera actually is. It's really nice. So once your camera is connected, there's a few settings you can look at. So if you just click on this little icon here, it's gonna bring you into the settings. And first you can see this screen here. And in here is where you can change sort of what lens you're gonna be using on the camera. So, um, you can go to the 0.5 for a really wide angle if you need to maybe fit a few people in or if you want to sort of show your room off a little bit. I usually just use it on times one, but you can zoom in. Um, but for the best quality, I find times one looks really nice. So here you also can see you've got your iPhone camera 
and this is your phone's camera battery. So if you're on a really long video call, it's good you can keep an eye on your battery in case you need to plug it in to charge. And then next you have center stage, which is just to keep you sort of in focus in the middle of the camera. So you can do ultra wide. And so it should sort of move to keep me in the center of the shot. I just keep it on main. And then you have portrait and this will give you the blurry background. So this is without portrait and then with. So then you have studio light and this will give you the light on sort of your face a bit more than the background. So this is what it looks like. Then you have reactions. And you can also change your backgrounds and play around with that if you want to. Then you have desk view, which is if you mount your iPhone on top of your monitor, it can actually look down to your keyboard as well. So it'll get you and your keyboard in. I don't know, maybe that will be helpful if you're doing tutorials or something, I'm not sure. I'm not sure exactly why you would use it, but it is an option. And then you have mic mode. And so if you need a bit of voice isolation, um, if the background's a bit noisy, you can use that as well. So those are all the settings which are located up here in the menu. Um, and then that's pretty much it. All you have to do is set your phone up on the tripod and then open the app you're using and it should automatically connect you straight to your iPhone's camera. But if you wanna check or you think it hasn't, just go up into your app settings and make sure you have your iPhone selected instead of your MacBook's camera. Now let's go over a few other things such as lighting. Lighting really plays a crucial part in your video quality. So to get even better quality when using your iPhone as the webcam, you wanna make sure that you have good lighting in the room, whether you're using a window and that's off to the side of you. I wouldn't really suggest a window behind you because that can really darken things. Or whether you have a lamp on your desk or you get a ring light, you just wanna make sure you have some type of lighting and you're not sitting in a dark room because the better the lighting is, the better the quality of your webcam footage will be. Okay, so now let's do a quick comparison of my MacBook's built-in camera versus my iPhone 16 Pro's camera and you'll just be able to see how much of a difference using your iPhone camera will make. You might also wonder if you can use your front facing camera on your iPhone as the webcam. And as far as I'm aware, you can't. But even if you could, I wouldn't really recommend it because the camera quality isn't gonna be as good as your rear cameras. And I was also curious whether I could use my iPad as a webcam for my Mac. Using continuity camera, you can't. There may be other ways or apps that you could do that with, but I'm using this setup with continuity camera, you can't. But if you have an Apple TV, you can actually use your iPad as a webcam for your Apple TV. So maybe you can do FaceTime through Apple TV. I'm not too sure, I don't have an Apple TV. But if you do have an Apple TV and an iPad and you test that out, let me know how that goes. Because from what I've read, you can use your iPad as a continuity camera for Apple TV. So that's pretty cool. So that's pretty much it for this video. I hope you found it helpful. And if you did, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to my channel. And if you wanna check out the Capsule 3 Pro Plus earbuds, I'll leave them linked in the description below. And yeah, thanks for watching and I hope to see you in the next video.